Welcome to the online lecture of Math 1 to 1, Linear Algebra and ODEs. Today we will continue with matrix factorization and LU decomposition in 4 cross 4 matrix, which is exercise 2.5 in your course book. Let's recap the previous lecture quickly before going to start this lecture. In this figure, we have vector matrix X on left side. and vector matrix B on right side. The matrix X can be mapped with B by using any of two paths. The top path shows the matrix equation method. The bottom path shows matrix factorization or LU decomposition method. First, we will discuss top path. In matrix equation method, given system of linear equation will be written as AX equal to B. An augmented matrix of the system AX equal to B can be written as this. This augmented matrix can be solved with any suitable technique such that rho echelon form or reduce rho echelon form. Solution of this system would be vector matrix X which contains three unknown variables X1, X2 and X3. Now we will discuss the bottom path which shows LU decomposition or matrix factorization. In this technique, matrix X is decomposed into L and U. By putting A is equal to L U in equation AX equal to B, the new equation would be L U X equal to B. This equation LUX is equal to B has been solved for X in two steps in previous lecture. In step one, we solved LY is equal to B for Y and the solution of the system would be in vector matrix Y which contains the answer of Y1, Y2 and Y3. In step 2, we used this value of y to solve ux equal to y for x. And the solution of the system would be x equal to x1, x2 and x3. Now question is why we are using this LU de decomposition which is our two step method instead of matrix equation method which is a single step method. The answer is LU decomposition used in those applications where the output of one system becomes input of the next system. For example, circuit design. In this figure, two circuits are connected in series so that output of one circuit becomes input of next circuit. Consider the systems of equations. This system of equation has four rows and four columns. The matrix equation of the above system is written as this. Now matrix A will be decomposed into lower triangular matrix L and the upper triangular matrix U. First we will consider matrix A of the system and will bring this matrix into upper triangular matrix. In upper triangular matrix, all the elements below the diagonal are 
equal to 0. So, in matrix A, 1 is our pivot element. Now, using row echelon form, we will convert minus 2, 3 and minus 5 equal to 0 by using 1 as a pivot element. So, the first row operation is R2 plus 2 R1. This one. It will convert minus 2 equal to 0 and the new row 2 has been written in red color. Now we will convert 3 equal to 0 with the help of pivot element 1. The row operation is R3 minus 3R1. No, the new row 3 is this and we can observe that the first element of row 3 is equal to 0 now. Now we will convert minus 5 equal to 0 with the help of pivot element. And the row operation is R4 plus 5R1. By applying this row operation, the row, fourth row is written over here. And in this row, the first element is equal to 0. Now we will move to next column and in th that column we have the pivot element equal to 3. Now by using this 3 we will convert minus 9 and 12 equal to 0. By applying row operation R3 plus 3 R2 the second element of row 3 will become 0. Now in next row operation we will make 12 equal to 0 by pivot element 3. By applying row operation R4 minus 4 R2 My, the 12 will become equal to 0. So, all the elements below the pivot element in column 2 are equal to 0. Now, we will move to next column. And in that column, we have the pivot element equal to minus 2. Now, with the help of this minus 2, we will make this 2 equal to 0. By using row operation R4 plus R3, the third element of fourth row will become equal to 0. Now, this is our upper triangular matrix and we can observe that all the elements below the diagonal are 0. The coefficient used to obtain upper triangular matrix U are 2 minus 3 5, 3, minus 4, and 1. 
now these coefficients will be used to build lower triangular matrix l and we know in lower triangular matrix all the elements above the diagonal are zero so this is the general form of our lower triangular matrix and we are going to find the values of l21 l31 l41 l32 l42 and l43 l is made up from the opposite of the above coefficients hence l21 would be minus 2 l31 is equal to 3 l41 is equal to minus 5 l32 is equal to minus 3 l42 is equal to 4 and l43 is equal to minus 1 by putting the values we will get lower triangular matrix equal to this and in this matrix all the values above the diagonal are zero no lu decomposition for a is written as this no a is a product of lower triangular matrix l and upper triangular matrix u now we will first solve ly is equal to b for y and then solve ux is equal to y for x for ly is equal to b we have lower triangular matrix l matrix y which contains y1 y2 y3 and y4 and the matrix vp which is given in the system of linear equations by using forward substitution we will get the values of y1 y2 y3 which are 1 0 minus 4 3 respectively now we will use this y to solve ux is equal to y for x our upper triangular matrix u is this and matrix x contains the unknown values of x1 x2 x3 and x4 and this is our matrix y now by using back substitution we will get the value of x where x1 is equal to 33 x2 is equal to minus 12 x3 is equal to 2 and x4 is equal to 3 if you want to know more about forward substitution method and back substitution method you can watch the previous lecture this is the end of the lecture